15 largest family fortunes in the world. From royal families that rule entire countries to the massive fortune of a secretive candy company, here's the world's wealthiest families. Number 15, the Johnson family. Mutual fund company Fidelity was set up by Edward Johnson II in 1946. It has since gone on to become the second biggest mutual fund company in the country. Luckily for the Johnsons, the company remained in family hands and his granddaughter Abigail runs the show today. The family is worth around 25 billion in total. Number 14, the Hearsts. Hearst Castle lies as a premier landmark and tourist attraction along the picturesque California coast. The man responsible for building the residence was William Randolph Hearst, who became insanely wealthy as a newspaper magnate. He died in 1951 just four years after his castle was complete. Today, his grandson, William R. Hearst III, chairs the Hearst Corporation, which owns 46 newspapers, 340 magazines, and stakes in several cable TV channels. The family fortune of around 28 billion is spread among 67 family members. Number 13, S.C. Johnson, a family fortune. Samuel Curtis Johnson started S.C. Johnson in 1886. It's since become one of the largest manufacturers of household cleaning supplies in the world. They have operations in 72 countries and sell their brands in at least 110. They make Pledge, Shout, Glade, and Drano, just to name a few. Samuel's son Herbert took over the company but died without leaving a will, leading to a bitter family feud that ended with the company being divided between his two children, Herbert and Henrietta. Sounds like a close-knit family unit. Today Herbert's grandson is CEO of the company while the entire family is valued at around $29 billion. Number 12, the Lees. The most powerful dynasty in South Korea, the Lee family founded Samsung and has wealth equal to around 20% of their country's GDP. Founder Lee byung Chul started a small trading company eight decades ago in Daegu and they became the largest maker of smartphones and TVs in the entire world. Second and third generation descendants from the various enterprises the family is now involved with and their total net worth hovers around $30 billion. Number 11, Shakri Dynasty. Before his passing in 2016, revered Thai king Bhumibol Adulyadeh was the longest serving ruler in the world. In his time on top, he was able to amass a net worth of around $30 billion. After his death, the throne was assumed by his 64-year-old son. The family's wealth mainly comes from land and property. The Shakri dynasty was created in 1782 and has run the country as a monarchy ever since. Number 10. Reality TV. The Cox fortune dates back to the turn of the 20th century, when James Cox purchased the Dayton Evening News. Eventually, the company would expand to cable TV, broadband, newspapers, radio, and even automotive assets. Today, the family fortune, around $41 billion, is divided among James' five grandchildren. Number nine, the compensation of cosmetics. Eugene Schuler founded the cosmetics empire L'Oreal in 1907. Following his death in 1957, the company was passed on to his daughter Lillian, making her the single richest woman in the history of the world. Suffering from dementia, Lillian was replaced on the company board by her grandson, John Victor Myers, in 2012. She owns 30% of L'Oreal shares, 12.5% of which is held in trust for her daughter. 29% of the company is owned by Nestle, the candy maker, and most of the rest of the company's shares are publicly held. In total, the Betancourt family is worth $44.5 billion. Number 8. The Arnault Family Bernard Arnault and his family run LVMH, the world's largest luxury group through their family company, Group Arnault. They recently announced that they would be buying Christian Dorr for $13 billion, further expanding their luxury empire. Though Bernard is CEO of LVMH, many members of his family work right beside him. His daughter Delphine is the company's executive vice president, and his son Antoine is CEO of subsidiary Berluti. Today, the Arnault family net worth is estimated to be just below $54 billion. Number 7. The Cargill Macmillan Family It's very likely that you've eaten or drank something today that came from Cargill. They manufacture food additives that are found in any product salted, sweetened, or preserved. With annual revenues regularly around $120 billion, they have managed to become the largest private business in the United States. This has made 14 members of the Cargill Macmillan Family billionaires, the most of any family in the world. As of late 2016, the family's combined net worth was just short of $50 billion. The company started with W.W. Cargill, who founded the company as a tiny grain store at the close of the Civil War in 1865. Number 6. Mexican Mogul Headed by Carlos Hilu, also known as the Warren Buffett of Mexico, the Hilu unit is said to be worth roughly $65 billion. Carlos made his fortune by controlling America Mobile, Latin America's largest mobile telecom firm. His business interests reportedly account for around 40% of the listings on the Mexican stock exchange. He greatly expanded his fortune following the economic crash in 1982 by purchasing investments at low prices that later became extremely valuable. He also owns a large chunk of the New York Times. Number 5. The Mysterious Candy Empire Secrecy is company policy for Mars, the candy-making empire. 
Employees are warned to never speak to reporters and defend the company's all-important privacy. It's the way Forrest Marr Sr. and his sons after him have run the company for the last eight decades. Forrest was known as an intense recluse who would often have angry outbursts. He also built an extremely good business that is responsible for some of the most popular confections out there, including M&Ms, Twix, Starbursts, and Skittles. Today, Mars produces over 400 million M&Ms every single day, and the Mars family is worth around $78 billion. Number four, the Coke family. Today, Coke Industries is the second largest privately owned company in the United States, with sales northwards of $100 billion. The business was started by Fred Koch, who earned his fortune by developing a new oil refining process in the 1920s. His four sons would assume control of the company until, in the 1980s, two of the brothers, William and Frederick, attempted a takeover. This failed, leaving Charles and David as the sole leaders. In the years since, Charles and David's wealth has ballooned to become much greater than their two brothers. The entire family's total net worth is estimated at $82 billion. Number three, America's wealthiest. In terms of revenues, the Walton family owns the world's largest company, Walmart. Founders Sam Walton and his brother Bud both died in the 1990s, but passed on their lucrative company to seven heirs, who today own about half of Walmart's stocks. With a net worth of around $130 billion, they are easily America's most wealthy family. As of January 2017, Walmart operated nearly 12,000 stores in 28 countries around the world. Ventures outside of North America have had mixed results. Operations in the UK, China, and South America have seen great success, while those in Germany and South Korea have failed. Number two, the House of Saud. Since the mid 1700s, the House of Saud has been the ruling royal family of Saudi Arabia. The modern family is led by the descendants of Ibn Saud, the modern founder of Saudi Arabia. The most influential member of the family is, of course, the king, who today is Salman bin Abdulaziz. His net worth alone is said to be 17 billion, and he's not even the richest member of his family. Prince Al Walid bin Talal is the 34th richest dude in the world at 28 billion dollars. In total, estimates say that the House of Saud is worth a staggering $1.4 trillion, making them one of the richest families in the world. And now for number one. But first, we'd like to thank all of our loyal subscribers for watching our videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and maybe leave a comment or two. Number one, the Rothschild family. No one is really sure how much the Rothschild family is worth today. Estimates that have been retracted range from a whopping $350 billion to ridiculous amounts that are in the trillions of dollars. Originally from Germany, the Rothschilds, starting with Meyer, spent the 18th century establishing banking and finance houses throughout Europe. By the 19th century, the family possessed the largest private fortune in modern world history. Today, the wealth is divided among a number of descendants whose financial interests cover a wide range of fields, including financial services, real estate, and mining. It's scary how much money this family must have. They have to be the richest clan on the planet.